Hello and, and welcome back in, folks. Uh, this is Ron from uh, Ron Brown's YouTube channel. Uh, this is our drone channel and we cover other tech too, but today is going to be a drone video. Okay, just um, big news, breaking news here, folks. On um, December 9th, uh, 2021, uh, the DJI Mavic 3 drone um, received some updates. Uh, first, in the um, release of the the Fly App uh, version 1.5.4, and that's a, a 452.3 megabyte file. Uh, and then uh, that uh, allows you to uh, update the drone to firmware version dot. Dot oh one dot zero zero dot zero four zero zero and that's a three hundred and seventy six point nine megabyte file so um what this uh what did this big uh app and firmware update do for the mavic 3 well uh stay tuned we will be right back Get our um app uh you know confirmed that we updated the app so the start the uh controller up for the uh dgi um Mavic 3, and you see the uh, lettering on here since I have several of these drones have the same uh, controller here. But, uh, uh, and today we're only going to be specific, yeah, specifically talking about the iOS version of, um, you know, the uh, app here. Uh, we're using the iPhone 12 Pro. So, uh, the uh, hit this button, one, short tap and long tap. Get the controller booted up. And over here we got the uh, drone, so we want to do the same thing on the back of the drone. Hit the button, short tap, and long press. All right, I believe I have the the you know the the drone bound to the controller already, so we're going to go in and open up the uh, the fly app here. And uh, I have already downloaded the latest um, version of the uh, the fly app here. And uh, as you you could probably maybe not see in that first page here, it was already asking me to do a uh, firmware update. Well, it did it did at one point. It, it had it up in this little uh, corner here, but it went away. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go back. Oh, there it is. See, uh, new uh, DJI uh, Mavic Three firmware update available. So we're going to hit the update button. And then it's, it's good, giving us a progress bar there. We're at like 0%, now 1%. So we're just going to sit here and wait it out. And I, as we wait it out here, we're going to uh, go over some of the uh, specifications here. Now, when you download the, the you know the DJI Fly app, in the notes there on, on, on the App Store, it says it adds master shots, hyperlapse, uh, focus track, uh, and that's all with the firmware update uh, also that you have to... Do that we're doing right now we're two percent okay it also adds raw only support and what that means is before if you wanted raw photos on your mavic 3 you had to hit the button that said jpeg and raws so if you don't want if you didn't want jpegs you would come back with a whole folder you'd have a jpeg of every photo along with the dngs so uh dngs raw uh, same thing kind of um so uh, this is going to eliminate people that, that don't care about the RAWs. You don't have to take them. I mean, the, the JPEGs. You don't have to. You don't have to record them, take them. So that's very good news for a lot of us that uh, you know don't want all those JPEG files uh, on the memory card and on the drone. And uh, the third thing is it adds Expo settings um, for the uh, Mavic Three, uh, which the Fly App never had Expo settings for any of uh, the drones before. Now. You know, a uh, uh, spoiler alert here. If you have the iOS version of the uh, Fly App, if you had version 1.51, it also had the Expo settings, but not for the and the same uh, uh, app app number for the for the Android. So, um, but uh, now I guess it has Expos for everybody and not just the Mac users. So that's real good. Expos is you know how you, just in a nutshell, it's how. Um, you can use, uh, you know, it controls uh, the sensitivity of what your sticks do. So if you uh, bring your Expo, I'm going to say down, make the number lower, um, the sticks uh, will react slower to your command. So, uh, you know, it allows uh, for a lot more um, cinematic moves, I'll say, than if you had them sped up or they, um, 
you know, the minute you touch something, it instantly reacted or overreacted. So the Expo settings are a good thing to have. I, I will do a whole video, or not a whole, a part of a video or a short video on how to uh, change your Expo settings. It was all there in the Go 4 app for the Mavic, Mavic 2 and uh, other, you know, other drones like, like that. So, okay, we're up to 12% right now on this firmware update here. And you can hit this more button up here. And it will show you some of the stuff it says it's at. So we'll we'll read over that now. Okay, as I said, this is um, before this is uh, 01.00.0400. And it's a 376.9 megabyte file. So, okay, it, uh, it added a focus track, master shots, and time lapse. It added raw only photo format. We covered that already. Okay, it reduced the uh, video recording noise for ProRes of the Mavic 3 Cine. So what that means is uh, uh, noise, it's called noise, noise is a sound in photography. It's like this um, graininess that you see in uh, photos, uh, especially photos that are shot night in low light. You see a lot of this grain look in the skies uh, in particular. Uh, so this is going to help, uh, uh, you know, uh, reduce that uh digital uh, noise or that I just described okay and it also will reduce occasional vibration of the aircraft arms in some scenarios you know I have even though I've seen a lot of the other issues uh, with the um, you know the Mavic 3 I've seen the um, I'm gonna call it the drifting I've seen the um, you know the, the gimbal the gimbal shake gimbal drop I've seen a crooked horizon but I haven't seen the uh, the vibration in the rear arms but uh, i know some people have it i know billy kyle saw that vibration so uh, that's great they were able to fix that with the firmware update okay it improves return to home performance um and I, I don't know what that means exactly i mean uh you know this has smart return to home which a lot of people don't like because it brings your drone back at a lower height it doesn't uh, automatically send your drone up to the height you have set in the app, like say you have return home height set for 300 feet. I mean, if you're at 300 feet, it probably will come back to 300 feet. But if you're at 150 feet, it'll stay at 150 feet and try to maneuver its way uh, around. Uh oh, we got a um, we got a problem here already. Um, in this top uh, corner here, it says uh, firmware error. Redownload firmware. Uh, minus 300 in parentheses so my firmware update stopped um, as far as I could tell I have good internet right now uh, I'm sitting right beside a computer which is you know has a good internet a wireless internet connection uh, the same thing as the phone the phones on the home network so I don't know what happened there so we will retry it again my only guess is the whole world's out there trying to do this firmware update date right now and uh, DJI servers are getting pinged because I did get a report from Marcus Crawford last night that he did his firmware update with no problems probably because not that many people knew so we're going to hit the retry button here and uh, we got another message here oh, okay now I'm up to 40 percent so it, it's it seemed to be still working even when that button was up there so hopefully this goes through without any problems but like I said I had the same problem with Apple updates when you know the new version of especially the phone app comes out um, you know you, you can't download it right away because the, their servers are getting pinged you're getting all these kind of errors you just saw here and it's not really you know uh, any error it's not your problem with your internet or anything it's just that a DJI servers are getting overwhelmed by the whole country trying to do these updates at the same time and even though um, there's certainly not as many Mavic 3 owners or, or Ma I, this you know, Mavic 3 owners as there are iPhone users. I, I get DJI obviously didn't have as many servers as a big company like Apple. But I, I wanted to make the point is this uh, fly up update is not just for the Mavic 3. Um, I believe the um, the the Air the Air 2S and I believe the original Air 2 are both getting this update. I do not know about the Mini, the Mini 2. Um, I know the Mini 1 got a firmware update just the other day unrelated to this probably. But um, I, again, I do know the Air 2S uh, and, and the Air 2, first Air 2, both got this firmware update also. So, I mean, I, I know um, they've already had a lot of these features like the, you know, uh, especially the Air 2S had the master shots and all that stuff already. So I don't know what exactly did for, for those drones. But uh, I guess maybe, 
give them the expo uh, settings that they never had before. Maybe give them the ability not to shoot the JPEGs when they only went raw. So, I mean, uh, once I get this firmware up, uh, downloaded and, 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 you know, confirmed and working or whatever, I'll move over to the Air 2S and do the upgrade there. And we'll go through and see what, what exactly that adds for the Air 2S. So, um, okay. We're at 59% right now on this, uh, you know, on the update here. So, you know, we're we're coming along and hopefully it's going to go smooth this time. Uh, oops, oops. That's, uh, did you hear that little chime? That means the drone's, uh, you know, uh, maybe going to restart or something like that. Or th that chime is good. That means that the drone is reacting. Look at the, look at the things go. It is kind of. I'll say semi rebooting itself here, so it is definitely getting this upgrade. So that's that's a good thing. So I, I do have the DJI RC Pro One, um, and uh, I will uh, you know once I get the uh, the iOS version done on the phone here, and the controller that came in the box with the uh, Mavic Three, I will get the um, smart controller out. Not in this video, but the RC Pro out, but not in this video. And, uh, but I will get that, make a separate video of getting the app updated, uh, the fly app updated on the RC Pro because it's a little bit different than updating it on the original smart controller. And uh, we'll get that all set up over there, make sure that's flying right and checking out all the features on the, the Android version of the fly app that will appear on the RC Pro. So, uh, yeah, I kind of bounce back and forth between both controllers. I mean, the RC Pro, of course, has that great uh, thousand nit screen on it and it's a wireless connection you don't have to plug a, a, a tablet or a phone into it so it's a lot of benefits to using that device but i mean the benefit of using the um, your iphone and the ios version of flap is you got the expo settings you know on, on that where you did not get them on the on the android version of the fly app that was on the um the smart controller we're almost up to 88% uh, of the firmware update being done now, so we're moving right along, 91%. So the last couple of percents here, I just want to remind you that we're doing the uh, Drone of the Year contest over at the Drone Nation uh, YouTube channel and the Drone Nation Facebook group. So get in there and vote for your favorite drone of 2021. We had another beep there, so um, again, I think everything's going to be good here. When the drone's beeping like that, it's uh, reacting to the firmware update and, and means it's um, you know, all the information is being sent over there. Okay, so we got firmware installed uh, in that checkbox there. The drone made another beep here, so we'll see if this screen goes away, and we'll see if it asks me to reboot the drone. I'm going to wait here. I'm going to hang on the screen for a few minutes here before I hit that X button in the upper left-hand col uh, column to get rid of this. Sometimes this this will go away and I'll tell you to reboot the drone, but um, i got a feeling it's not going to happen here. So um, we will hit this X button. And then, uh, okay, it's not asking me to reboot the drone. So I guess you reboot the drone, uh, um, you know, itself. Um, so at this point, I'm going to start a screen recording and see if we can see some of the, uh, the stuff in here. So um, hold on. Okay, we got a screen recording going on this now. So uh, I'll, you know, use that so you can really see what you're doing. So we're going to go into the um, hit the go fly uh, part of the app right here. And uh, okay, to, to check to see whether, um, you know, uh, things like uh, uh, hyperlapse and all that stuff is, I think we... I, I, well, let's, let's check, uh, you know, I guess focus track first here. So we would draw like a box over something like this and it's saying the light is not, uh, not good enough. So it may be hard to, to check this inside. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, unable, but it does say unable to use active track or point of interest. It's there. It's just that, you know, I have to be outside to, to use it here. Um, uh, let me, uh, Open these blinds a little bit here. It's cloudy out there, but it still lets a ton of light in. We try it again on this box. Yeah, you have to be outside. There's not enough light inside to, to use it there. But obviously, since it's saying, what did it just say there again? Uh, unable to use active track or a point of interest that it's probably there because before, you, you, if you drew a box, nothing happened. So, um, okay. Let's see if we could do the raw only uh, support here. So, um, go up here to this uh, hit camera in this menu here, 
and uh, let's see, there it is, format for photo, JPEG RAW or JPEG plus RAW. So we will switch it over to RAW. So, um, okay, we finally have our, uh, you know, our RAW only support for, for photos. That's going to make a lot of people happy. And uh, let's see here. It, it's funny how this turns stuff off. Like I turned my histogram off here, which I always like to have on. Kept overexposure on and kept, um, you know, uh, grid lines on. It's funny how it turns some things on, some things off. Um, okay. So, um, that's there. Now, let's, let's show you how to, to do expo settings. So, you want to go over here to, uh, no, uh, to safety. No, I, I, I forget. Uh, okay, I kept my return max altitude and uh, uh, return home height in there. Did not erase that, so that's good. Uh, I, I like to keep it on break rather than bypass, uh, till at least till they get uh, uh, obstacle avoidance perfected. Um, Let's see here. All right. Um, you know, I, I always forget where this stuff is. So I think it maybe it's in control. Okay. Uh, phone charging. Stick mode. Here it is. Advanced. It's in control. It's in advanced, which is the um, second thing from the bottom. So there's your expo settings. And uh, I, I think I had adjusted mine the other day. It looks like it kept my adjustments from, um, you know, from my previous session. So that's good. And see, you could change them in all three different ones. Like, I, I you know, I had switched for normal. There they are in sport. And there they are in cine. So I think I had only adjusted them really in, in, in normal. So that that's good to know. Um, yeah, that's great. So there they are. Which again, they were there before in the um, in the iOS version of the app. And let's see. Um, okay, let's see about hyperlapse. I think we would go into you know this button here, which is like the the you know changing it from photo to video to all the other stuff. And there is um, there is hyperlapse down here. Okay, so it does look. It is in there now. Before none of those settings were there. You know, you can do what they. Um, it has a free uh, hyperlapse. You just fly where you want. It has a circle hyperlapse. It has a, um, a course lock and it has a waypoint one. And then you can make the adjustments right here as far as your length and your speed, your integral, interval shots. So good. I mean, none of that was there before. So uh, looks like we're good there. Now let's go over to, let's just check panels. Feature coming soon. Quick shots, feature coming soon. Master shots. Air, okay, air, aircraft not aircraft not in flight enable to enter master shots. Okay, that wasn't there before, so that's going to be working too. Because <clears throat> that again, that said nothing before. It just said coming soon when you hit it before. So, um, all right. So um, that's the first part of a, I guess a series of videos on this first update. So this is how you you, know, you do all your your updates for your uh, your your uh, controller. You know your your uh, fly app uh, version 1.5.4 iOS, and then you know how to do the firmware update on your Mavic 3 here. They, they add all these uh, new features. Not everything here is yet, folks. It's still like quick shots and panos and stuff still missing here, but we did get a lot of goodies here. Um, so now we're going to look forward to uh, getting out in the field and, and testing some of these things. So, uh, again, thanks for stopping by for this uh, kind of a quickie video here um, on, on, you know, all the updates. It's funny how all this stuff kind of happened later in the day yesterday. I mean, I checked in the morning. There were no uh, updates to the uh, Fly app, or, you know, at, at like around 9 in the morning. So all this stuff kind of hit later in the day. So, um, yeah, so uh, I, I got a whole uh, kind of, I hate to say the words here, I got a whole series of videos over here in the Maverick 3 already on my channel. So, Stay tuned because there's going to be a whole bunch more videos on this uh, these new features for the Mavic 3. So uh, we will catch you on the next one, folks.